The Lord said to Abraham, Leave your country, your family, and your relatives, and go to the land that I will show you. I will bless you and make your descendants into a great nation. You will become famous and a blessing to others. I will bless anyone who blesses you, but I will put a curse on anyone who puts a curse on you. Everyone on earth will be blessed because of you. Abraham was 75 years old when the Lord told him to leave the city of Haran. He obeyed and left with his wife Sarai, his nephew Lot, and all the possessions and slaves they had gotten while in Haran. When they came to the land of Canaan, Abraham went as far as the sacred tree of Moreh in a place called Shechem. The Canaanites were still living in the land at the time, but the Lord appeared to Abraham and promised, I will give this land to your family forever. Abraham then built an altar there for the Lord. Later, the Lord spoke to Abram in a vision. Abram, don't be afraid. I will protect you and reward you greatly. But Abram answered, Lord, all-powerful, you have given me everything I could ask for, except children. And when I die, Elisa of Damascus will get all I own. You have not given me any children, and this servant of mine will inherit everything. The Lord replied, No, he won't. You will have a son of your own and everything you have will be his. Then the Lord took Abram outside and said, Look at the sky and see if you can count the stars. That's how many descendants you will have. Abram believed the Lord, and the Lord was pleased with him. The Lord makes another promise to Abram. The Lord said to Abram, I brought you here from Ur in Chaldea, and I gave you this land. Abram asked, Lord God, how can I know the land will be mine? Then the Lord told him, Bring me a three-year-old cow, a three-year-old female goat, a three-year-old ram, a dove, and a young pigeon. Abram obeyed the Lord. Then he cut the animals in half and laid the two halves of each animal opposite each other on the ground. But he did not cut the doves and pigeons in half. And when birds came down to eat the animals, Abram chased them away. As the sun was setting, Abram fell into a deep sleep, and everything became dark and frightening. Then the Lord said, Abram, you will live to an old age and die in peace. But I solemnly promise that your descendants will live as foreigners in a land that doesn't belong to them. They will be forced into slavery and abused for 400 years. But I will terribly punish the nation that enslaves them, and they will leave with many possessions. Four generations later, your descendants will return here and take this land, because only then will the people who live here be so sinful that they deserve to be punished. Sometime after sunset, when it was very dark, a smoking cooking pot and a flaming fire went between the two halves of each animal. At that time, the Lord made an agreement with Abram and told him, I will give your descendants the land east of the Shehor River on the border of Egypt as far as the Euphrates River. They will possess the land of the Kenites, the Kenizzites, the Kadmonites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Rephaites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Girgashites, and the Jebusites.